composition is the most important part of the music making process. Without it, there would be no recording, no mixing, no mastering. So finding the right tools, finding tools that are inspiring and that load quickly can help us dramatically in finding great ideas for our composition. And that's what we're going to be talking about today with Kirk Hunter's Virtuoso Ensembles. Hi everyone and welcome, this is Tom C with Audio Plugin Deals. It's my first video with Audio Plugin Deals, so it's really nice to meet you and I'm very excited today to be talking about Kirk Hunter's Virtuoso Ensembles, uh, which is an orchestral bundle featuring woodwinds, brass, strings, drums and more in individual and ensemble patches. You can get it at a discounted price in the audioplugin.deals store with your rewards money, so make sure that you check that out. We'll first take a look at a track that I made with individual uh, patches mainly. Uh, and before we do that, make sure that you subscribe and that you ring the bell in order to be notified about our next videos. Let's check it out. So now I'm going to show you the library's content. On the left we've got the instruments and on the right we've got the multis. In the instrument section we've got two folders with the ensembles and the separate sections. In the ensembles folder we've got the brass shorts and the main brass patch. Then we've got the church choir, the epic hits and rolls. And then we've got several uh, strings patches with arco, pizzicato, shorts, tremolo, slow and tremolo. And then we've got the main strings patch. And then we've got the woodwind solo shorts and woodwind solo. If we take a look at the separate sections now, we've got brass, percussion, strings and woodwinds. In the brass section, we've got French horns, trombone, trumpets and tubas in the percussion section we've got killer kettles piano timpani and then in the string section basses cellos violas and violins and in the woodwinds folder we've got bassoon and contrabassoon solo clarinet solo flute solo and oboe solo and in the multi section we've got a whole lot of different multis that we'll take a look at a bit later in this video <laughs>
So now that we've taken a listen to an example I made with individual patches, we'll actually take a look at the different sections and all their articulations. So this is quite an in-depth video that we're going to be making today. Uh, we'll first start off with the strings, then the brass, the woodwinds, the drums, and then the ensembles. Let's check out the strings. This is the user interface for the strings. We've got basses, cellos, violas, and violins. I've loaded up the basses. We've got two knobs here with volume and pan. Then we've got the option to choose between uh, playing polyphonically or legato. Then we've got a range slider here. Then we've got two sets of articulations down here with sustains and shorts. In the sustain section, we've got arco, arco with velocity attack, marcato and marcato poco. Marcato poco is slightly less heavy on the attack as the regular marcato. Then we've got a slur slider here, and we've got the tremolo articulation as well that we can choose to crossfade. So we can basically uh, crossfade between uh, regular sustains to tremolo if we want to with MIDI CC. Then we've got the shorts with staccato, spiccato, and pizzicato. Then in the attenuation section, we've got the equalizer with gain and frequency that we can choose here. And then we've got the features with accent strength that we can change with velocity and MIDI CC. And then we've got the envelope uh, and we can change the attack and release here. Then in the dynamic section, we can uh, change the velocity sensitivity and also the MIDI CC sensitivity. So this is pretty useful if you don't want to start from nothing or to start from silence, which makes things a bit more realistic. Then you've got an interval slider here. Uh, so if you want to hear the intervals with a volume slider. And uh, then you've got the ambient section with reverb, room size and the uh, mic distance here. Let's now listen to all those articulations playing per instrument and together.
user interface of the brass is similar to that of the strings, except that we have tubas, trombones, French horns and trumpets. In the articulation section, we've got soft tongue and medium tongue. In mid tongue, basically, uh, whenever you play heavier on the keyboard, the attack will be heavier as well. Then we've got Mercato, Mercato Poco, then the slur slider again. We've got Sword Sando uh, here as well. Then we've got two shorts with Staccato and the shorter Staccatissimo. And then we've got the same EQ, the same feature uh, features. And in the dynamic section, uh, we can set the uh, controller to be either the velocity or the mid ECC. Let's now listen to those articulations, the instrument separately and then playing together as well. interface of the woodwinds is exactly the same as the one of the brass except that we have different instruments of course with bassoons that include a regular bassoon and contra bassoon and we've got a solo clarinet a solo oboe and a solo flute there let's listen to all those uh, different instruments playing the separate articulations and also playing together <laughs>
in the percussion section of the individual patches we've got the killer kettles with left hand and right hand we can add epic bass for a, a bigger sound then we've got the volume slider here and we've got a microphone distance slider here with reverb and room size and we can also uh, assign a key uh, to dampen the sound the user interface for the piano is pretty straightforward. We've got the equalizer gain here and the equalizer frequency here. Then we've got the volume section with velocity, sensitivity, the sustained pedal effects and with the volume slider here. Then we also have a velocity, uh, sensitivity, brightness control here. And here are the settings for the reverb with reverb volume and room size and also the mic distance uh, setting. Then also in the individual percussion patches, we've got the timpani and we've got left and right hand. We've got different articulations with single hits, roll, roll that can be controlled with the mod wheel. And then we've got a sforzando roll that also can be controlled with the mod wheel and then a short roll. Here in the center, we've got the different key switches for those articulations. And then on the right, we can add the epic bass again for a big sound uh, we've got a volume slider the microphone distance the reverb volume and then the room size again So now that we've taken a look at the individual sections, we're going to take a look at the ensemble section. All you need to do is to load up an ensemble that you've chosen and there you've got a few options. You've got the option to change the volume and pan of each individual instrument. You can change the range of those instruments. You can also change whether you want to play polyphonically or legato. So this is really useful whenever you want to sketch ideas really quickly. Let's check out a piece I've made with the ensembles. In the ensemble section, you'll find a bonus addition to the library, which is a church choir with bass, tenor, alto and soprano voices. It uses the same user interface as the woodwinds and brass and strings, uh, but it only features one articulation, which is basically the sustains that you can play polyphonically or legato. And also we've got in the percussion section some epic hits and rolls with tam-tams, a giant metal log, some drumble, a bass drum or bass drums, big plastic bottles, darbukas, toms, snare hits, snare rolls, platy, suspended cymbals and crash cymbals. Let's listen to those solo sounds before listening to a track I've made with the ensembles.
way to help you get your inspiration going is to use multis. Multis are multi-patches that are combinations of ensemble and individual patches that are combined together to drive your inspiration. Uh, just a quick note is that those multis actually use more CPU. So a way to go around that would be to mute some of the elements of those multis, then unmute them, play it back, but maybe freeze them first or print them or change the buffer size of your ASIO driver. Um, let's check out some of the multis that I've used and uh, they're all available in the library. So are the Virtuoso ensembles made for you? Well, if you're working on a budget, on a schedule, or that you need great sketching tools that will help you with your great compositions, this is a great bundle. And also, something worth mentioning is that it's a 2 plus gigabytes download, which makes it very easy to transfer from one system to the other, or for live music as well. Uh, will it replace all your orchestral libraries? Well, I don't think so, but I, again, I don't think that's a purpose. And also, uh, you could actually achieve some pretty darn amazing results if you play with the different features and use your own external reverbs. Thank you very much guys for watching, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and to uh, ring the notification bell. Check out the Virtuoso Ensembles in the Audio Plugin Deals shop 
and don't hesitate to ask me your questions in the comment section down below. I'll be very happy to answer them. Thank you very much again and see you later. Bye bye.